Do you carry a hatchet into the woods or do you carry a knife? What do you do if you get in there and you've only got a knife and you feel like you need a hatchet? Well, it's quite easy. You get a scatchet. <laughs> a scatchet. Right. This is uh, a thing called a scatchet. And it comes just this piece here, just the black bit, just the handle. Uh, the head, sorry. Just the head. Uh, I've got a just a piece of broom handle in there for ease of use. But basically what it is, is a hammer. Oh, hang on. Bloody focus. Focus your thing. Right, okay, here we go. Right, it's a hammer. It's got a coarse thread inside the uh, hole there, okay. And on this end, this is the bit you wear on your belt. There's the belt loop, so it would hang like that on your belt. Okay, and on here, you pop that clip and you pull out, come on, well, you pull out one handedly a curved blade. Okay, a curved blade. It's very, very sharp, and that uh, hook there, you see, that one there, that's very sharp as well. Now, that can be a gutting hook, or it can be a ripper for material, or whatever you need to do. You just put it into that little nook and pull. And then you pull it and it cuts right through. Now the scatchets, I don't know if they're made anymore, if they're available even. This was given to me uh, by a friend a little while ago. And like I said, it was in a pretty sorry state. I cleaned it up and re-edged it. And now this curved blade, monumentally sharp, ridiculously sharp. And if you hold it like this, you see, it's just a knife. Okay, you can slice with it, you can chop with it. Okay, you can do all kinds of things with it. But, once you carve with that yourself a handle from, oh, I don't know, anything really, um, a branch, a helve, a stick, you know, whatever you want. If you're making spoons, you've always got a bit of wood left over, you can make a handle for this. And then, of course, it becomes a hatchet. What a brilliant little thing. It's a little bit awkward to chop with because the blade is so far forwards, but... Once you get the hang of letting the blade do the work and not trying to force it uh, your own way, it actually cuts quite well. It's never going to chop down a giant redwood, not unless you've got plenty of bloody time. But a scatchet, hatchet, knife, all-in-one belt tool for the man outdoors. I think originally they were a roofing tool, if I'm perfectly honest. I think I was told it was a roofing tool, and that was for ripping nails and slates and bits of... Um, shingle and things like that but as an outdoorsman's tool this is a wonderful blade I've used it many times and like I said that's a nice big handle in there where you can hold it by the pommel and then you whittle your own handle when you go so you don't have to carry a handle with you when you take it in the woods there is the leather little pouch okay nice thick sturdy leather with a nice thick um, popper on it and when you put it in this is going to be good fun at one handed isn't it now then when you put it in, this bit slides inside the uh, leather and around the corner. And then this bit pops up. Yeah, I told you it would be fun one handy, didn't I? Look at that. Things I do. Okay, then that pops in, and then you've got. Oh, you dratted thing. Do I do a blooper reel and swear and then come back later? It's all done. Mummy! What's going on? It worked well in practice. Maybe it's because I'm not left handed, I don't know. Right, let's do a bloody close-up. <laughs> right, shoo. There we go. Now then, it slides around the corner and then goes in. And then once you pop it, after pissing about like I just did, uh, it's now well protected. Like I said, it hangs off your belt just like that. So there we are. A scatchet hatchet. Will it ever focus? There we go. All right. So, if you've not got one or if you haven't found one, have a look. They're quite bizarre and they're quite fun and they're very, very useful if you want to take one outdoors. There's a quickie for you. Cheers then. Bye.